Today is Tuesday, October 4th, First Vespers for St. Placidus and Companions. It is a greater double. The proffers for this feast are from the common or committee of martyrs, beginning on page 24 star, the antiphons at laws on 25 star, omitting the fourth antiphon, also the chapter on 25 star, the short response, and the rest following on page 24 star. The psalms are on page 7 star, and the proper college is on page 617. The hour will conclude, there will be no suffrage at the conclusion of the hour. <clears throat> Open my mouth, O Lord, to bless thy holy name. Cleanse my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten mine understanding and kindle my affections, that I may fittingly recite this office with attention and devotion. And so may we meet to be heard before the presence of thy divine majesty through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, in union with thy divine intention, wherewith thou thyself didst offer thy praises to God while upon the earth, and now recite this office to thee. Our Father. God may speak to Satan. O Lord, make this to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, how great torments have all the saints endured, that they might surely attain to the palm of martyrdom. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy power out of Zion. Be thou ruler even in the midst among thy enemies. In the day of thy power shall the people offer thee free will offerings with an holy worship. The dew of thy birth is of the womb of the morning. The Lord swear and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord upon thy right hand shall wound even kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places of the dead bodies and smite and suffer the heads over out of his country. He shall bring of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up his head. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Oh, how great torments have all the saints endured, that they might surely attain to the palm of martyrdom. The blessed with their palms have entered into the kingdom. They have earned their diadems of glory from the hand of God. I will give thanks unto the Lord with my whole heart secretly among the faithful and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is worthy to be praised and had in honor, and his righteousness endureth forever. And the merciful and gracious Lord hath so done his marvelous works, that they ought to be had in remembrance. He hath given meat unto them that fear him, he shall ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath shown his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are true. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of all they that do thereafter, the praise of him endureth forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The 
blessed with their palms have entered into the kingdom. They have earned their diadems of glory from the hand of God. The bodies of the saints are buried in peace, and their name liveth forevermore. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. He hath great delight in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty of honor. The generation of the faithful shall be blessed. Riches and plenteousness shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. Unto the godly there ariseth a light in the darkness. He is merciful, loving, and righteous. A good man is merciful and loving, and will guide his words with discretion. For he shall never be moved. And the righteous shall be had in everlasting remembrance. He will not be afraid of any evil tidings, for his heart standeth fast and believeth in the Lord. His heart is established and will not shrink until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed abroad and given to the poor, and his righteousness remaineth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The ungodly shall see it, and it shall greet him. He shall match with his teeth and consume away. The desire of the ungodly shall perish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. For world without end. Amen. The bodies of the saints are buried in peace, and their name liveth forevermore. O choir of martyrs, praise ye the Lord of heaven. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, ye servants. O praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth forevermore. The Lord's name is praised. From the rising up of the sun unto the going down of the same. The Lord is high above all heathen, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, that hath his dwelling so high, and yet humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and earth? He taketh up the symbol out of the dust, and lifteth the poor out of the mire, then, that he may set him with the princes, even with the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O choir of martyrs, praise ye the Lord of heaven. Alleluia. The souls of the righteous are in the hands of God, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. But they are, but they are in peace. Thanks be to God. Let the righteous rejoice before God. Let the righteous rejoice before God.
didst prepare the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary to become a habitation meet for thy Son. Grant that as we rejoice in her commemoration, we may be delivered by her loving intercession from our present evils and from eternal death through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine help remain with us always. And with the glorious and perfect. Amen. To the holy and undivided Trinity, to the humanity of our crucified Lord Jesus Christ, to the fruitful virginity of the blessed and glorious ever Virgin Mary, and to the whole company of the saints, the everlasting praise, honor, power, and glory from every creature who knows to us the remission of all our sins. Throughout our world and our mm-hmm. Bless us, the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Father of Jesus. And bless us, and perhaps we should accept the Christ of the Lord. Amen.